My name is Ami Kassar. I became an entrepreneur, not by choice, but by necessity. I was a chief innovation officer for the largest issuer of credit cards to small businesses in the United States. And we completely decimated in the Great Recession. I got fired by the bankruptcy trustees on a Friday. On my way home, I went to the bank and I deposited a check for my full home equity line of credit that had been sitting in my drawer for seven years. When's the best time to get money? When you don't need it. And I started my company, Multifunding, on Saturday. And since finding Multifunding, I've had the great honor of hearing thousands of stories of entrepreneurs who call looking for money. If you look at the top 10 banks in the country and their SBA programs, Ami Kassar and his team at Multifunding rival them. Your banker might have told you you're not qualified for the SBA or never told you about it. And they might be right, but guess what? There are 2,200 other banks out there that do SBA loans. Whatever our goal is, and if you don't have one, you should have one, it's highly unlikely you're gonna reach your goal without making investments in your business. I want everyone to leave with at least two or three things that they're gonna go home and think about. How big do you want your business to become? What is restraining your growth or restricting your growth today? You can't manage your business like your household budget. It's not just about what comes in and what goes out. You have to think about what investments you want to make, what returns you'll expect, and how much risk you're willing to take. One of the questions I love to ask is the Uncle Joe question, which is if Uncle Joe gave you a million dollars. You have to invest it in your business in the next 12 months in things that you're not doing today. And if you don't, he's going to take it away. What would you do with the money? So the next question is, why aren't you doing all this? Money's pretty cheap. We find some business owners who wear what I call the no debt badge of honor. So sometimes in lieu of debt, they'll take equity. Remember, if you're gonna take on an equity partner, you just got married. Debt can be evil and there's a lot of evil choices out there. But debt used responsibly and contracted well can be an incredible tool to grow a business. But money is just a part of it. It's kind of the easy part. While I'm there to challenge you and challenge how you think, ultimately the choices that you make, what's most important are that you sleep well at night. I'm a functioning introvert, so Anytime after a big presentation, you can find me probably sleeping under a table somewhere so I can actually survive cocktail hour. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.